Um, so then if we move on from uh, the ease of use, the next thing we talked about is performance. Uh, a Zeus pod is much more efficient than an inboard. You've got a couple things that are making that happen. If you look at the pod here, the most obvious thing is the thrust line is fore and aft uh, parallel with the water surface. You don't have a down angle like you would on an inboard boat. So all of your thrust is pushing the boat forward as opposed to some of it pushing the boat up on an inboard, the back of the boat up on an inboard. The next, obviously, is we've got counter-rotating propellers. And the counter-rotating propellers help with the efficiency uh, of the overall system. And then the last is drag, and this is really the biggest factor. If you look at the shape here, there's no rudder behind the pod because the pod rotates. That's how you steer. There's no strut, there's no shaft. So the lack of all these extra appendages and the shape of the pod reduces the drag onto the boat. So the faster that you go with the Zeus boat, the more efficient it's going to be because as you uh, go faster, drag becomes a larger and larger issue. So all those things together make it a much more efficient system. Um, and also, in terms of performance, you're going to get much better uh, maneuverability uh, with a, a pod system like Zeus than you would on an inboard boat because you've got steerable thrust. The pods here have asymmetric steering. So they can turn outboard up to 45 degrees and inboard up to 15 degrees. So when you take a, a hard turn to port, the port pod is going to turn outboard 45 degrees and the starboard would turn in 15 degrees. Then we reduce the amount that the pods steer as the boat goes faster. So that's how much they steer when the boat's going very slow. If you were to allow that much amount of turning of the pods when you're going very fast, it'd actually turn much too aggressively. So that's reduced uh, as the speed increases. But again, that's done automatically. I set that at the factory so you guys don't have to worry about that. It's tuned into the kinds of customers you have and the boat that you have. It's a, we call it the vessel's personality. So when you think about the, the performance, one of the other aspects of performance is the comfort level for the people on the boat. If you look at the pod here, you can see this red rubber grommet. It's a single grommet. It's shaped in cross-section like a C, and it would slip over the hull like this. So if you look at this rub rubber grommet, if you imagine the, the uh, stand here is the hull, the grommet seals on the top, inside of the hull, and then also underneath in the bottom of the hull. The entire pot is brought in underneath the boat to be installed. It's passed up through that hole. And then this black ring, it's a two-piece ring, comes around the pod and is bolted down to the hull. These bolts don't go through the hull. They're inside of the hull, and they just squeeze everything together. So that means that the pod is isolated from the hull through this red grommet. So vibration in the pod tends to not be transferred into the hull as much because of the, this isolation from the grommet. We also have the exhaust system routed down through the, the pod. So if you look at the back of the props, they're hollow props. So when you're underway, you're going to have the exhaust flow that's going to come off the engine. When you get a chance to look at the engine, you'll see that there'll be a big white fiberglass tube that's coming off the turbo. It's coming down, and for those of you on this side, you can see the entrance into the pod, and then down into the pod and goes out underwater. So that's nice when you're underway. You're getting the majority of the exhaust flow down in the water behind the boat. When you're at the dock, we like to actually use an idle relief system. So again, when you get onto the boat and you look at that white tube in the boat, you're going to see a second passage. And that passage can be run uh, you know, out of that exhaust tube through muffling over the side of the boat. And what that allows us to do is keep the boat very quiet at idle when you're at the dock. If you're at the dock and you're in idle, the water's going to fill up the gear case coming in through the propeller hub. And then that allows the exhaust to go over through the side. By doing that, you don't have all of the exhaust underneath the boat, which can bubble up around the hull. It can be a little louder than bringing the exhaust over the side. So that's why we elected to uh, use the idle relief like that.